Hi, today I will be showing you the basics of how to make your own VRChat world. I'm using a PC and an Oculus Rift VR headset to play VRChat. If you're trying to make a VRChat world for the Quest, some things in this tutorial might not work. I suggest that you look at the documentation on creating content for the Quest on the official VRChat website. I'm not affiliated with the VRChat team, I'm only a VRChat player and creator, but I will be looking through some of this documentation in this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's download Unity. There are many versions of Unity, so you'll have to find out which Unity version is being used by VRChat currently. Download this Unity version. You'll also need the VRChat SDK to make a VRChat world. The SDK 3 is the newer version and includes VRChat Udon, which is a new way to program advanced actions inside VRChat. SDK 2 is deprecated, so I'll be using the VRChat SDK 3 to make my world. Download it from the VRChat website. You'll need to log in with your VRChat account and you can download it from Downloads. Open a new project in Unity. and drag this SDK package into the project. After it has imported everything, you should see the VRChat SDK tab. Click on this and show control panel to bring up this new tab, which I like to drag over here. Log in with your VRChat credentials. First, I'm going to make a flat cube in the project. This can be the floor of the world. Right click in the hierarchy and click on 3D cube. If you click on this cube, you can change its properties. You can use the QWER keys to change between edit modes. This is very, very useful. The move tool, rotate tool and scale tool are especially useful for VRChat world creation. Flatten this cube and scale it to about 0.1 on the Y axis and maybe five on the others. Each of these squares on this grid is about the size of an average avatar in VRChat. For me, about 5 to 10 squares is perfect for a bedroom or a chill world. So here we have a floor for our world. Go to the prefabs folder in the SDK package and drag the VRC world into the scene. If you click on this and go to the inspector tab, you can see there is a spawn section. You can add a spawn location to this list. This is the location at which people will spawn when they enter the world. So we're going to right click in the hierarchy and make a new game object. I'm going to rename it spawn just by double clicking on its name. If you look in the inspector for this object, you'll see a transform. This will be the location of our spawn point. I want the spawn point to be around here, so I can just drag it here using the move tool. By default, players will spawn facing the blue arrow. Now add one element in the spawns list and drag the spawn object that we just made into this list. Now whenever someone enters your world, they will spawn right here. Add some walls by duplicating the floor and rotating it. You can scale it down to make it shorter and move it to the areas that you want. Once you've made a spawn and a floor, it's a good idea to test this out in VRChat. When you go to the builder, you'll probably see some issues. You can resolve these by clicking on these buttons. Once you've set up the scene, it should give you an option to build and test the scene locally. 
You can't invite anyone else to have a look at the world when you build and test it locally, but it's perfect for testing. Click on build and test and it should open the world inside VRChat. If you want to test the world with your VR headset, just uncheck this checkbox before clicking build and test. When you're happy with the basic layout of the world, make some materials to put on the walls and the floor. I'm going to make a materials folder in the project. Inside this folder, right click and make a new material. You can change the color and the transparency of these materials. Drag these materials onto the object in the world to apply them. For the glass window, I'm going to turn down the transparency and make it a bit smoother. You can also download materials for free from the Unity Asset Store. Just search for whatever you need and you can also filter by free assets. I found a wooden floor material that's really good so I'm going to use this for the floor. Just download and import it into your project. I'm also going to download a few different assets as well. If you test the world again and walk around, you'll notice that you can walk through the furniture. To avoid this, add some colliders to the objects by clicking the object, add component, box collider. Let's add a mirror. The mirror prefab should be in the examples folder of the VRChat SDK. So just drag this into your world.
Now we're going to use Udon to make a toggle for this mirror. Udon is still in alpha, so it's nowhere near complete yet. So I recommend that you check out the official documentation to look at the most up-to-date instructions on how to program with Udon. Make a new object. This will be the mirror toggle object. Add an Udon behavior script to this object. Open Udon Graph. So what we want to do is when we interact with this object, we want to set the mirror active or inactive. Within the Udon Graph, right click and click on New Node. Under Events, go to Event Interact. This will make the object interactable. So just drag the VRC mirror onto the graph and we want to set a game object active. So type set active. This will change the set active status of a game object. The game object we're changing is the VRC mirror. The instance is the game object we are activating and this value would be a boolean. A boolean in programming is a binary variable with two possible values, a true or a false. So in our case, the boolean will tell us whether we want to set the mirror active or set it as inactive. Yes, turn mirror on or no, turn mirror off. To get the boolean, we need to check whether the mirror is already active. So VRC mirror get active self. Is it active? Yes or no? Then we put it through uh, unary negation, which basically inverts the boolean. So if it's active, set inactive. If it's inactive, set active. So now when we interact with our toggle object, it should turn the mirror on and off. This is not synchronized for everyone in the world. So if another player enters the world, they will not be able to see you turning the mirror on and off. Objects in a VRChat world are local by default. You might be happy with this, maybe it's preferable, but just in case you want the mirror to change for everyone in the instance, I'll show you how to make this a global mirror that updates for everyone. We need to make this a networked object so it updates for everyone in the world instance. The first player who enters the instance becomes the owner of the networked objects. The owner can make changes to an object and the changes will be sent to the other players. So to make this mirror global, I want to change the owner of the object to whoever interacted with the mirror button so they can send the update to everyone else in the world. So on interact, we want to set owner to the player that interacted. So get local player. We will make a variable, which is the Boolean, which I've added up here and called on or off. And I just want to set the mirror active with the value of that boolean. And we want to request serialization so that boolean gets saved and it can be sent to all the other people in the instance. Then I want to make our on deserialization event. Set active the VRC mirror with the value of the boolean variable that we made and this will update the mirror for everyone in the world who isn't the owner. So when someone interacts with the mirror, the mirror just updates for everyone in the world through networking. You can check if the networked objects are working properly by opening two clients of VRChat when you build and test the world.
To add a light to the world, I'm just going to right click in the hierarchy and choose a light. I like using the spotlight. You can change the properties of this light in the inspector. Make sure you have this button pressed, otherwise you won't be able to see the light. You can add a skybox in the lighting settings. Before you publish the world to VRChat, you can uncheck the auto generate lighting just to optimize it a little bit. Click on generate lighting to bake the lighting in your scene. And you're ready to publish to VRChat. Click on build and publish for Windows. Give your world a name and a description and upload. Once it's uploaded, you have your very own VRChat world that you can bring your friends to. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Let me know how you went down in the comments and feel free to join my Discord server as well. Bye! Flong bong Squong gong blongy dong spling giggy gringy dingy ga flingy flank flu flong grongy dong squong gingy blongy dang bonga dingy flingy diggy blingy blong bong flo dongy dung blinky bling sklibby dibby flong bongy dong blong ding flong fingers